I created a really simple add-on to show off your modeling or texturing time-lapse in Blender. Typically, for a time-lapse, you'll just start screen recording, but this can get a bit jarring to watch since your working view is flying all over the place. So I thought, what if I create an add-on that lets me have a controlled orbit around a set point in my scene while I work? I'll show you how it works, then I'll play a little time-lapse example for you. Okay, here we are in Blender. If we just go to our preferences here and then go to add-ons, you'll find this under the time-lapse orbit add-on after you have that installed. You can get access just on my Patreon shop or on my Gumroad, or if you support me, you can get linked to that here. Uh, you get access to all of the add-ons, all the tools, all the assets that I make, everything, um, just for one monthly purchase. So go ahead and save your preferences. And now in the end panel, we have time-lapse orbit. Like I said, this is a really simple tool. We have our orbit empty here. That's asking for us to select an object. So we could just add an empty to the scene and let's select that. Now this is the center of our view as we orbit around the scene. It'll make sense in context just in a second. Then we have a rate of rotation. That's just how fast this orbits around, but let's just go ahead and press start. And as you can see, it is centered on our empty. Um, but yeah, this isn't particularly useful as is. You might be confused at how you would actually use this. The intention for this is actually to come up here to window and to create a new window. Now this could be on a second monitor, for example, and let me show you how this works. So I obviously can't show you two monitors um, since I'm just recording on one screen, but let's just imagine that this down here is my second monitor and everything I'm doing up here is in my first monitor. Time-lapse orbit is smart enough to know which monitor or which window you actually started the time-lapse orbit in. So if I start it in this second monitor, anything that I do as I work in my first monitor won't be interrupted uh, and it won't stop the time-lapse orbit. So I can go ahead and move the center of our orbit around up here. Now I could still zoom in and out as this goes and I could even uh, reposition this a little bit, um, but really this is intended just to sit here and orbit in a consistent manner around your scene as you work on this screen. So typically what I'll do is I'll hide the empty as I work. I only really need that visible if I'm repositioning where that view is. So I'll just hide that. Then I would just work as normal. I would do whatever changes I need to do to this model as I create or as I texture or as I do anything that I wanna show off with a time-lapse. Now this add-on doesn't actually do screen recording for you. We rely on existing tools like that, like the open source OBS screen recording tool, which is what I use and the one that I recommend. And what you would do is just, again, put this window in a second monitor and just record that screen while you work in this screen. And things are a lot less jarring. You end up with a much smoother time-lapse. Of course, you can change the speed if you want things to go really slow or you can speed it up. Maybe you wanna to get to a particular view and then you can stop it at any time. Say I wanted to work on the back for a little bit here. Um, these changes I'm making are nonsense, but you get the idea. And then I could start that again uh, and continue working around the model, texturing, whatever it is that I wanna do. So hopefully that's a good overview of the tool. Again, it's very simple, but let me just show you the tool in action. I did a little uh, quick screen recording, creating just a simple mug and texturing it. And I think that'll be a nice way to showcase this tool. Again, you can get access as a single purchase over on my Patreon or my Gumroad, which I'll link. Or if you want, you can support my Patreon, which gets you access to all of my exclusive trainings, all of my assets, all of my tools, my add-ons, anything that I create is yours when you are a Patreon supporter. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll go ahead and roll the time-lapse.
there you go. There's a little demo of the tool. Thanks for watching. Again, uh, make sure to go check out my Patreon awards. I put a lot of effort into making that a valuable resource for the amount that I'm asking for. So go check that out. Or if you're not a fan of subscriptions, that's fine. Go purchase this as a perpetual, just one-off purchase on either my Patreon shop or my Gumroad.